today I'm going to show you how to build a simple Squarespace website in less than 15 minutes. I have a website I need to create for a circle meetup here in Austin. It's a meetup of Squarespace designers and I am going to create it quickly, but I want it to be cute. I want it to have some good information. So I have my info all here in a Google doc and I have a couple of images that I've chosen as well on my computer, but we're going to also use the Unsplash integration to choose some images along the way as well. So I can show you how that works. So if you need a simple website and you need it done quickly, this is how to do it. All right, let's start the timer. I want to make sure I get this in, get it done in less than 15 minutes. Oh, and at the end, stick around for some custom code. It's a line of custom code that makes everything better on mobile if you're building a one-page website like I am. All right, let's get started. So typically when you click Get Started, you see all of these Squarespace templates. We're not going to be using one of those. We're going to go with Build Your Own Template. So you can see the option here, or there is a panel here that says Use Squarespace Blueprint. Get Started. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to let Squarespace do a lot of the heavy lifting for us. First off, as it's setting things up, I'm going to go ahead and copy the title of my website and get ready to paste that in. So this is a Squarespace Circle Meetup in Austin, Texas, and click Next. And now it's going to build my homepage. And I can choose any of these layouts that I like. But I think this one's going to be great. I just have a little bit of simple information for this top panel. I don't need it to be very busy, but I do like the image behind. Next up for featured selling, that's going to be my RSVP section. And I'm going to choose this and swap out this accordion block for a form and get rid of that button later. But this is the closest to the layout that I am going to use. Uh, a little bit about me. Um, follow me on social. And we've got some forms here. But instead of the contact form, um, I'm going to be actually sending people to my website for some discounts they could get if they're a Circle member. So I'm going to click that because this is similar to the layout that I want. And in the footer, I just want a simple three column footer to tell them uh, where, when, and who. All right, we are ready to get going. So once you've chosen all of the layouts for your sections, you'll go ahead and just click Next. I don't need any other pages, so I'm going to remove those and click Next. And now I get to choose my color palette. So I wanted something kind of warm and fun, so mm, this might be a little bit too much. Uh, I'm going to go with a neutral, and this seems pleasant. I like this. It's kind of a 70s retro vibe. Um, I'm going to go with that. And to match that 70s retro vibe, now when I choose my font pairing, I'm going to go with Oh no, blaze face and degular. Uh, that looks really fun to me. So this feels great. Uh, you can definitely click around and see what your site would look like with some different font options. This is the one I'm going to go with today and I'll click finish. We'll give Squarespace a moment here to get all of that ready. We've already got our site started with the name in, so we don't need to do anything there. Okay. Now we're ready to edit our page. I'm going to click edit in the top left and to introduce my brand, I'm actually going to put in the information here in the text. Just copy this in and I'm going to paste it. Now you'll notice that the, um, it pasted it in, in a weird color. I don't know why I'm going to put it back to the default palette color here. Um, it is also bold and italics, which I don't, want. And that's a little bug that Squarespace is having at the moment where when you paste things in, they're italicized. I don't know why again, but we're going to fix it. So I removed bold and italics. I'm going to center all of these. Um, I actually want this stuff to be my heading one. It's the most important text. This can be much smaller. Heading four. Uh, I think I want it a little bigger. Heading three looks good. All right. And then for location info in my paragraph text, I'm just going to go ahead and copy in the link to the restaurant so people can find that. So highlight all of that, click my link editor button, pop in my link to the web page, click the cog icon, open this guy on a new window because it's happening outside my website and apply. This looks great. 
except that this image doesn't make any sense behind it. So let's go ahead and double click on the image, click replace and browse stock images. So this is the Unsplash integration and I'm just gonna look for a meetup photo. This one's great, add that image. And when this image is added, you'll notice it's a pretty light image. So I'm going to need to create some contrast so people can see my text here. So to do that, we're gonna go to the design panel, turn on overlay, and I actually want to go to custom. I want to create, um, I want to go all the way black here in the bottom left corner. And then what I can do is I can change the transparency so that I can still see what's going on in the image, but there's enough contrast that I can read my text. And I think we're all good there. I'm going to go ahead and click save so I don't lose anything and let's move on. All right. For this section, I have uh, the RSVP, and again, I don't know why it's bold or italics, but the color is right this time. I don't need a button here, um, but I do need a form block. So I'm gonna remove this accordion block and add a form block. All right, let's go ahead and get this ready to go. So for form fields, I don't need a subject. I'm gonna delete that. I do need the name and email. I need, I can, optionally add the message field, but I don't think it needs to be required. So let's take that off back and then under storage, I'm just going to check that it has my email address here and it does. So we're good there. And I'm going to turn on Google reCAPTCHA so I don't get a bunch of spam. All right, now I'm going to move this up and move this down and over. So it's a little more balanced feeling in this section and I'm going to move this up as well. Okay. That feels great to me. Uh, all right, next up a little bit about me. So I'm going to add in my name, Christy Price host. And again, you're killing me here. I'm going to remove the bold and italics and I'm going to add some text here as well. Um, this is going to be a headshot of me. I'm going to go ahead and add that. So it is on my computer. I'll upload that now. And let's make this image. Uh, let's look at the free images. Let's do coffee for this one. So coffee meetup, that looks great and kind of matches the color and feel. And I'll be able to see the arms um, and maybe some of the coffee here behind me. Perfect. And I also, I like how the corners are rounded here. So I want to do that for these images as well. So let's go into design give it a corner radius. There we go. And what I'm not going to do, but what you should do for best practice is add image alt text here. So you know what, let's go ahead and do that. So let's say, let's say, um, web designer meetup. There we go. And then this one will be, um, coffee meetup. And this one is me, Christy Price. All right, follow us on social. All right, so this is interesting because I thought that this was an Instagram block. It's not. I can see because this says edit content here that this is an auto layout list section. So this would be great if you wanted to choose particular items to always be here but I actually want this section to pull in from my Instagram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own section and I'm just going to create a blank one and I'm going to add a block of text here. And I want this to say, follow Christy on social and again, remove this stuff, uh, make it heading to looks good and I'll center it, put that in the middle here. So it's all, if you hit G on your keyboard, <laughs> not Craig D, Christy, if you hit G on your keyboard, you can see uh, the grid and I'll, I noticed that that's not aligned so I can fix that. Next up, I'm going to add an Instagram block. Uh, and that's going to go underneath here. I'm going to just go ahead and add, uh, connect it to my Instagram and then we'll style it. So choose an account. I'll add an account and we'll see that pop up here in a moment. And it will ask me to allow Squarespace to interact with my Instagram account to pull information from it. 
So there we go, it's connected now. And I just, I, I like the layout of the thing below with the five items, so I'm gonna replicate that. Uh, so five items, five per row. I don't wanna crop the images. Um, and I, I think I wanna go with the two, three vertical here. That looks good. And then I liked how this was going all the way to the edges of the grid. Next up, I want to add, I like the, um, the button here, but actually I wanna add a social links block so that I can have a few links here. And this is gonna be some kind of random Squarespace link. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that guy. Let's delete that one. And I'll add my social links that I want to have displayed here. So we've got Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. All right, that means that I can delete this section. I'm not using it. All right, our last main section is to get some discounts. So let me go ahead and add in text here. I'm gonna delete this form and add a button block. And I'm gonna just say get them here for the text. And for now, I'm gonna send people to my website. There is a special hidden page for circle members to get discounts. If you can find it, you're welcome to use the discounts. All right, let's go here. Let's kind of center that up with the image and double click on the image and let's upload another file. So this is from a brand photo shoot that my photographer Alicia Lee did, which I love. And here we're going to go ahead and add our image alt text for this one. So this is gonna be Christy Price web design desktop view. Okay, and oh, I definitely wanna add my corner radius here as well, so lovely. And last up, we're gonna edit our footer. We are almost done. And this is gonna be, oh, no, where? And you know, I should have thought of this earlier, but if I hold down Command Shift and V on my keyboard, it will paste and match the style so I don't have to redo the um, bold italics every time. So let's go ahead and add in our address here. And this I'm going to bring up and I'm going to hit shift return. So it's only um, one line instead of a paragraph break. And let's link up this address to the Google map. I'm going to open that in a new window as well and hit apply. And when let's go ahead and pop that in, don't need me. So let's try that again. Whoops. <laughs> Here we go, got it. And again, shift and return, and then who? All right, now the next thing that we need to do because this is a Fluid Engine website is we need to check everything on mobile. So I'm gonna click on mobile view, and what you notice off the bat here is that there is um, this weird hamburger menu that just takes you to social links. So we're gonna remove the social links and then I'm gonna show you some code to remove this burger menu for mobile. Uh, this looks great, this looks good. I've got some extra space there. So let me click edit. I'm gonna bring this up, bring this up. Then we've got this looks good. That looks good. All that looks great. Get discounts. Actually, I want this to be a little more, have a little more visual weight to it. So I'm gonna bring this down and also the image as well. And footer looks like, ah, like I've got some extra space here. Here we go. Let me remove these. And then what I can do is I'm just gonna Pull this down so we have a little bit of visual separation between those three areas and I'm done I'm gonna save and exit all right let's go back to the desktop view so I definitely want to remove these guys I don't want them up there I don't want people bouncing and going to my social 
before they do anything else. So I edit my header, go to elements, turn off social links, save and exit. Let's go back to mobile view. Well, look at that. Uh, that is new to me as of today. So in the past, I'd had to add code to remove the mobile menu, but it looks like there is not a mobile menu there because I don't have any pages or anywhere for it to go to. Now, if you do see the mobile menu, I'm gonna go ahead and drop in the code that you add to custom CSS. Just paste it in as is, and it will basically tell your website not to display that mobile menu hamburger icon. So we'll get rid of that. All right, uh, are we ready to launch? Not quite yet. There are a couple of other things that we need to do, and there are actually a lot of things you can do for best practice. I'm gonna do the minimum so we can get the sky launch. The first is you see this gray cube up here that drives me crazy. It means that people didn't take time to add a browser icon. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna add the Squarespace Circle member logo. We are all set here with the browser icon. And the next thing that you wanna do at a minimum is go into marketing and SEO appearance. And this is, um, sometimes this bounces around. So depending on the website you're on, you may need to find this in settings, but here's a trick. If you hit the forward slash key on your keyboard, this guy right here, looks like that. Um, it's the one with the question mark key if you're in the US and you start typing SEO appearance, it's gonna bring you right to that panel where you need to be. So this is where I would add some extra info. So I would say uh, June 26, 2023. And you would also want to add an SEO site description that um, come meet a fellow Squarespace designers in Austin, Texas. All right, at a minimum, that's what you'd want to do before you launch your website, but that's it. And I think we did great on time. Thanks for building a website with me. Good luck with your website. I wish you all the best.